Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Sprague and I'm the Recreation Therapist at Lincolnia Senior Center and I'm here today to teach you SAIL, Stay Active and Independent for Life, a Falls Prevention Fitness Program. I also have my exercise partner here, Anita Chinyabong from Fairfax County Senior Center. She's also a Recreation Therapist and she'll be doing the Adapted C Diversion. So if at any point you need to take a little break or slow it down, follow Anita. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Remember, water, open space, and have fun. Tap it out. Roll those shoulders back. Good job, everybody. Keep it going. Roll those wrists. Good job. All right, take those arms across. Good job. Remember, keep breathing. Everybody bring it to the middle, march it out. We're gonna push it to the front. Good job, march in the middle. All right, you're gonna take a slow off to the side and bring it in, out and back, out, back, out, and back, out, back, out, and back, two more times each side, back, out, last time, out, back, out, and march in the middle. Good job, keep marching. We're gonna raise arms up. Keep going. Good job. March in the middle, arms by side. March. You're gonna bring those knees up, so you're gonna keep that chest up. You're gonna go one knee at a time. Up, 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 up. Good job, march in the middle. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your legs back, just like this, back, back. Keep it going, to the back. Two more times each side. Last time, march in the middle. Good job. All right, knees to the front again, so up. Two more times each side. Last time. March in the middle. Good job. Same thing, we're gonna take our legs back. Back, back. Two more times each side. Last time. March in the middle. All right, we're gonna pick it up while we go out to the side. A little bit faster now. Out to the side. Remember, keep breathing. Take it at your own pace. Always march in the middle if you need to. Two more times each side. Last time, beautiful, march in the middle.
Right, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and do our punches. So you're gonna start marching out a little bit wider. You're gonna punch, punch, punch. Good job, keep going. Two more times, each side. Last time, punch up. Awesome job, punch down. Punch cross. Good. Now we're going to do uppercuts. So up, up, up. Sort of bend at your knees there. Little, little tiny squat, nothing too big. March in the middle. All right, take, we're going to take those punches across and we're going to do two at a time. So punch, back, punch. Punch, back, punch. Punch, back, punch. Keep going. Punch, back, punch. Punch, back, punch. Punch, back, punch. Last time, both sides. One more and march in the middle. Good job. All right, same thing. We're going to do double time of uppercut. So you're going to up, 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 up. Keep going. Two more each side. Last time. And march. All right, Let's roll those arms. Roll, roll. And roll them up. Keep marching. Roll them down. All right, back to the middle. Roll them to the side. Other side. Middle. All right, now switch direction. Middle. Roll them up. Roll them down. To the side. Other side. To the middle. March it out. Keep it marching. All right, you're gonna punch your arms up. We're gonna eventually add our knees. We're gonna stay right here for a little bit. All right, you're gonna add your knees up. Up. And march it out. Good job, everybody. All right, just like how we took our legs to the back, this time we're gonna kick our backside. So you're gonna bring that leg up. Up, up, up. Good job. Keep it going. All right, now what you're gonna do is same leg twice. So you're gonna up, up, other leg up, 
Keep it going. Two more times, each side. Last time. March in the middle. All right, let's kick front. So up, up. Remember, keep breathing. Good job, everybody. Keep it going. And march it out. All right. Let's go ahead. Pick up our jumping jacks a little. So out, 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 out. Keep it going. March in the middle. Good job, everybody. All right, let's take it out to the cross. And across. Cross. Cross. Good job, everybody. Keep it up. March in the middle. Okay, pretty much like we're gonna jump a rope, so you're gonna roll out of your arms and keep those knees up. Jump the rope. All right, now switch directions that jump rope. Jump again backwards. If you want to, you can go super fast with that jump rope. Woo! <laughs> Roll it again. Good job. I march it out. Good job, everybody. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out and inside. You can add a little hip pop into it if you want. It feels good. This light All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go four times to the side, four to the front. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four. Take it to the front, one, Two, three, four, out to the side. One, two, three, four, front. One, two, three, four, to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side. Front, two, three, four, side again. One, two, three, four, to the front. One, two, three, Four march in the middle. All right, when you go to the sides, you're gonna reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. So four to the side. Then four to the front with reaching and pulling. To the front, so you're gonna reach. Three, last time, back to the side. Out and in. out and in. out and in. Front. Uh 
Awesome job. Bring it back to marching. Good job, everybody. All right, take a deep breath in. And out. And in again. And out. Go ahead, grab your water and grab a chair also. We're gonna move into our balance exercises. Welcome back everybody. All righty, let's go ahead and do our balance exercises. So first we're gonna do our dyna dynamic balance, which is a lot of moving around. So make sure you do have a lot of space in your kitchen or your living room, wherever you're working out. Uh, but do have a chair by uh, just in case by your side for a little bit later in our balance program. So we're gonna first start with walking slowly with turning our head left to right. So again, it's just like your casual walk, but remember, keep that head up. Because as soon as that head drops, your body wants to go forward. So head up, chest up, just taking a few steps forward and looking to your left to right, nice and slowly. And then once you come to a spot, turn and go back to your beginning position. Just take a few steps, left and right foot, turning and go back and do another lap of walking. Good job. And return back to your beginning position. Awesome. And turn. Good job. Alrighty. Next, we are going to do our walk um, over forward. So knees up. So pretend like there's a log in your way, like you're on a trail, or if your dog's like laying there in the living room. You know, you want to lift that leg up and over, up and over. So I'm going to show it from the side. So you're gonna go up and over, up and over. Again, watch Anita, she's doing the seated uh, version. So let's go for it, just take a few steps forward, just like how you did your walking. Keep their head up, chest up, and turn, and go back, and turn. Go ahead, take another lap forward. Good job and turn and go back to your beginning position. Good job, everybody. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and get in and out of that bathtub. So you're gonna lift those knees up high and you're gonna go to your side. And that other leg is gonna go up and over. So again, watch Anita for the seated position. She's raising that leg up and then following with through with the other leg, okay? so. We're gonna get up and into that tub, and brother leg's gotta come in. Now we gotta get out, so up and over. Again, let's hop back in, and now time to get out. One more time, let's get in, and out. Good job, bounce it out, rub those knees if you need to, you may feel it in your knees, May feel it in your ankles, so another good thing, bounce it out a little bit, okay? Awesome job. All righty, next thing is we're gonna pretend like we're in the circus and we're watching the walking on the tightrope. So you're gonna go heel to toe. So, nice and close. Hands can be on your hips or out to your side. Head up, find a spot on the wall in front of you that you can pay attention to, so that way you have your balance. Remember, don't drop your head forward or your chest forward. So. I'm gonna go arms by my side. Again, watch Anita for the seated position. So sh we're gonna go heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, and turn. Get your balance. Now, heel to toe. And turn. Beautiful job, everybody. Bounce it out. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go pretend like we're in a really small shower stall. So we're gonna turn in a circle. So your feet are a little far apart. I'm putting my arms in front of me. Um, watch Anita, she has her arms up in front of her. Feet are a little bit further apart, okay? And we're gonna turn clockwise. So we're gonna go over our shoulder, nice and slowly. Keep that head up. Make a full circle. Anita is going side to side in the chair and back to the front. 
and stop. Get your balance. Now we have to go back the other way. So arms up, feet a little further, like a little bit apart, and we're going to turn the other way. Keep that head up nice and slowly. Again, watch Anita if you're in the chair. She's going side to side. And stop. And bounce it out. Get your balance back. Perfect. Good job, everybody. Alrighty, next we're going to go ahead and do our sit to stand. So I'm going to be in my chair. I'm going to go completely from seated to standing. Anita's going to be doing a little bit different. Um, if you would like, she's going to cross her arms. She's going to squeeze her thighs. She's going to sit up a little bit and then back down. So pulling up from the thighs and down. I'm going to go ahead and do from standing, from seated all the way up to standing. So I'm going to first show my feet are flat on the ground. My hands are crisscrossed. You're going to squeeze these muscles and you're not, what I don't want to see is rocking and rolling, okay? Because that means that you've disengaged your stomach muscles if you're going to rock up, okay? So you got to stand straight up from stomach muscles squeezed, feet flat on the floor. I'm going to show from the side so you guys can see. And ready, five times. Ready and up and down for one. Up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, down for four. Last time, up, down for five. Good job, everybody. All right, so I'm going to take my chair off to the side. We're going to go more into our static balance exercises. All right, so we're going to pretend like we have a compass. We're standing in the middle of a compass. Um, north is to my front, south to my back, east, west. All righty. Shoulders and hips, shoulder width apart, hip width apart. All righty. We are going to lean forward at our ankles, not our waist, at our ankles. So you're going to lean a little bit to the front and back to the center. Now you're going to go south just a little bit. You may not even feel a difference, but there is a little bit. And back to center. Now let's go to our east. A little bit over. And back to center. Other side, west. Back to center. Good job. Now we're going to go to the corners. So we're going to turn our shoulder a little bit. We're going to go northeast. Good job. And back. Now we're going to go southeast. Good job. Let's go northwest. So turn that shoulder forward. Good. And back. And now southwest. Good job. And back to center. Bounce it out, shake it out. Good job, everybody. Now what we're going to do is get a little bit of stretch going on. So watching Anita, she's going to turn over her shoulder and reach for the back side of the chair and holding. And then she's going to come back to the front. Um, for those standing, you're going to turn sort of, you can like raise your arms out a little bit and you're going to turn and look over that back shoulder and you're going to come back to the front. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and go back over and holding five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. Now let's go over the other side and holding five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Let's go ahead both sides again. So over that shoulder, five, four, three, two, one, and front, other side, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, and shake it out, bounce it out. Awesome job, everybody. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to use my chair for this um, exercise, and we're gonna go standing up on our toes. So I'm gonna turn to the side. Um, all right, so Anita's going to be seated in her chair. Okay. And she's going to go up on her toes, and she's going to go down. I'll go back. All righty, so, and I'm going to hold on, so I'm going to stand close to my chair, and we're going to go up on our toes and down. So we're going to do this for 10 times. 
So ready, up for one, and down. Up for two, and down. Up for three, and down. Up for four, and down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, everybody. All righty. Like we were on that trapeze earlier, we're gonna just stay in one place though. So what you're gonna do, you can have a chair next to you if need be. Um, Anita's gonna show you seated where she has her left foot in front of her right foot and her hands are gonna be on her hips. She's gonna hold it. I'm gonna go for left foot in front of my right foot. And again, if you can't get directly heel to toe, you can sort of just take it out a little bit, but have those feet a little bit close together. So like this, okay? So. Heel to toe, hands on hips, and we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down and bounce it out. All right, so now let's go ahead and switch and put our right foot in front of our left foot. Heel to toe. Remember, if you can't get it in there directly, you can just sort of do a uh, split stance. So heel and toe and hands on your hips, and we're holding for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down and bounce it out. Beautiful. Give those ankles some loving. Give those knees some loving. Perfect job. Alrighty, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and now reach forward from our waist. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see my bend at my waist. So Anita's going to be sitting in her chair. She has her legs a little bit further apart. She's going to put her arms out forward and she's going to bend a little bit at that waist at the front. And I'm going to do the same thing. So arms out and we're going to bend forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. Bounce it out. Good job. Let's do it one more time. And reaching forward now for five, four, three, two, one, and back, bounce it out. Good job. Now we need to do our sides. So feet, shoulder width apart, one arm out to your side, and we're going to lean sideways for five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. Other side, five, four, Three, two, one, back to center. Let's go to the other side again for five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Last side, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Bounce it out. All right. Next, we're going to go into our single leg stance. So, this is going to really um, focus on a lot of your balance. Um, Anita is going to lift up one leg and she's going to hold it and she can put her hands on her hips too, add an extra little bit of a challenge. And so then for myself, if you're standing, have your chair next to you, okay? Um, we're going to stand up nice and close, so I'm going to be on either side of my chair for this. So when I'm on this side, you're going to lift a leg that's on the outside. Your leg on the inside stays down next to that chair. However though, if you feel like you're going to fall, because you're losing your balance, do not reach for the chair. You need to put your foot down. That chair will not always be there. Or that chair may be like, because your hands hot and sweaty, could like slip out from you. Alrighty? So, feel like you're going to lose your balance? Drop that foot. Alrighty. So let's go ahead. We're going to raise that outside leg up. And raise it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, down and bounce it out. Good job, everybody. All right, I'm going to switch sides again. If you feel like you're going to fall, drop that foot. So raise that leg up and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, down and bounce it out. Good job, everybody. Go ahead, grab some water, grab your weights. So if you don't have dumbbells, you can always use a water bottle 
or soup cans. And if anything, just use your own natural body weight because you're still lifting weight. So go ahead, grab some water and meet us back here for strength training. All right, welcome back everybody from your water break. Hopefully you have your weights or water bottles or soup cans, whatever works for you. Again, remember, if you don't have weights, it's okay. Use your natural body weight. We're gonna go ahead and start with our upper body. We are going to do bicep curls first. Remember, it's all about your form. Um, remember, keep your knees slightly bent. So I'm gonna show you from the side, slightly bent, okay? You don't wanna lock them out because that's gonna hurt you after a while. So slightly bent, back straight head up, chest up, okay? Again, same with Anita. She's gonna keep her head up and chest up too. She's not gonna drop forward, alrighty? So starting with our bicep curls, we're gonna do both arms at the same time. Arms are by your side, elbows nice and tight to your arm, okay? Watch me first before you start. So you're gonna curl up nice and slow, and then you're gonna go back down nice and slow. We're in no brace. We're pumping iron. We're doing this nice and slow. So we're going to do this 10 times. I'm going to give you a five count up and a five count down to keep your pace. Ready? And raising up for a five, four, three, two, one. Down five, four, three, two, one. Up five, four, three, two, one. Down five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, five more, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, three more, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, up, five, four, three, two, one, down, five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Good job, everybody. Next, we're gonna work on our triceps. So we're gonna raise one arm up at a time. So we're gonna raise one arm up to the ceiling and you're gonna drop it down behind your head and then you're gonna bring it back up. So I'm going to share from the side, arm up, down behind your head, and back up. Remember, make sure you have a good grip on that weight. So, and Anita's going to do the same thing in the chair. Her arm was up, she went behind her head, and then she brought it back up. Awesome. All right, so one arm at a time. We're going to do it 10 times, nice and slow. So arm up, and drop it down behind, and back up for one. And down, up for two and down, up for three, and down, up for four, and down, up for five, and down, up for six, and down, up for seven, and down, up for eight, and down, up for nine, last one, and down, up for 10, and bring it down and shake it out. Good job, everybody. Alrighty, same side, same thing, different side. And up, and drop it down behind, and raise it up for one. And down, raise it up for two. And down, raise it up for three. And down, raise it up for four. And down, raise it up for five. Five more, and down, up for six. Down, up for seven. Down, up for eight down up for nine last time down up for ten and bring it down shake it out all right good job everybody next we're going to do our arm raises so first watch please just stick to a t so no going higher than your shoulders and it's a little bit in front of you so i'm going to show from this side so you're going to raise it up 
and it's a little bit forward, okay? And your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Anita's gonna do the same thing in the chair. So see, her T in, is in line with her shoulders, not higher. So, are we ready? Nice and slow, up for 10. So let's go up and down one. Nice and slow, squeeze up, down two, and up, down three, and up down four and up down five and up down six and up down seven up down eight and up down nine last one and up down ten beautiful shake it out all right we've done our side now we gotta do our front so Again, shoulder height. So when you raise it up, you're stopping here. Let me show from the side. So we're stopping here. Everything is parallel. And same goes for Anita. She will raise up and stop here and then back down. All right, let's raise up for 10 to the front. And up, down one. And up, down two. And up, down three and up, down four, and up, down five, and up, down six, and up, down seven, and up, down eight, and up, down nine last time, up, and down, shake it out. Good job, everybody. All right, next thing we're gonna do is our overhead press. So we're gonna make our muscle man. So knuckles and thumbs are facing out though. So muscle man, if you need to, you can drop it down low down here too. And Anita can do the same thing, either be up parallel with her shoulders or she can bring it down. And when you press up, you're gonna press up above your head and squeeze and stop yourself back right here at muscle man if you can. All righty, so. We ready? So arms up and pressing up for one and down. Up two and down. Up three and down. Up four and down. Up five and down. Up six and down. Up seven and down. Up eight and down and nine and down last time, 10, and down. And relax, shake it out, shake it out. Good job, everybody. All right, next we're gonna do seated crunches. So grab that chair again. I'm gonna to turn to the side, and you can also watch Anita from the front view. So we're gonna crisscross our arms, okay? What we're gonna do is keep your feet firmly on the ground. No rocking and rolling. And what you're going to do is you're going to lean back, but don't touch that back of the chair, and you're going to sit up. And then you're going to go back again and sit up. All righty? So let's go for 10 seated crunches. So crisscross those arms, and we're going back. And up for one. And back, up for two. And back, up for three. And back up for four, and back, up for five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, last time, back, and ten. Good job, everybody. All righty, go ahead and place those weights down. And if you do have angle weights, you can go ahead and wrap them around your weights. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my weights. Again, if you don't have ankle weights, that is okay. You're still lifting the natural weight of your leg. These are the weights that we use in the center.
All right. So have the chair there if you need it. Um, again, also you can follow Anita in the seated version. So we are going to start with our bending up our legs. So I'm going to hold on to my chair. Um, you're going to stand up nice and close to your chair, not out, because then that can hurt your shoulder. So nice and close. First watch. You're going to bend that outside leg up. You're going to kick it out and bring it back, but don't drop it. Once you drop it, you release that tension of that muscle. So to keep those muscles tense, not relaxed. Again, Anita's going to kick her leg out and bring it back. And if you need extra support, she's holding up underneath her thigh. All righty. All righty, let's go for it. We're going to do eight of these. So we're going to raise it up, kick it out, and back for one. And out. Back for two. Out. Back for three. Out. Back for four out, back for five, out, six, out, seven, last time, eight, and drop it down. Beautiful, bounce it out, rub it out if you need to. All right, good job, everybody. So now we gotta do the other leg. Again, Anita's gonna support underneath her thigh, and same thing, she's gonna kick it out and bring it back, but she's not gonna drop that foot. Same for me, I'm gonna raise it up, kick it out, bring it back and hold. So we ready, we're gonna do eight times. So bring that leg up, kick it out, and back for one. Out, back for two. Out, back for three. Out, back for four. Out, back for five. Out, six. Out, seven. Out, eight, and drop. Bounce it out. Good job, everybody. Rub it out, rub it out. All right, now we're gonna do our leg extensions. So we're not kicking up high like the Rockets or dancers or things like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot out in front of you, sort of angle your toe up to the ceiling. For Anita, she's just gonna kick up and out a little bit. And then for us, we're gonna go up a little bit and down. So eight times, let's raise it up and back down for one. Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, six, up, seven, last time, and eight. Good job, bounce it out. Good job. Alrighty, same thing, other leg. Toe pointed sort of at an angle, and you're gonna raise it up. So, kicking up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, down and bounce it out. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and work on our backside. So we're gonna kick up towards our back end. So Anita's gonna kick up underneath the chair or out to the side of the chair, whatever's more comfortable for you. Um, I'm gonna turn to my side. So you're gonna see I'm gonna stand up close to the chair. I'm gonna stretch this leg back that helps with no um, cramps in your legs. You're gonna kick up to your backside. Your knee is pointing down to the ground. Your knee is not coming forward or you're gonna kick the chair. So, nice and close to the chair, leg out, and you're gonna kick up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down and bounce it out. All right, same thing, other side. So I'm gonna turn my chair so you guys can see my other leg. All right, so leg out, knee to the floor, not towards in, okay? And raise it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Down and bounce it out. Good job, everybody. Next, we are going to um, lift our legs straight back. So we're gonna work on this muscle here. So again, I'm going to push my leg out and I'm gonna kick it up a little bit to the back. So you don't wanna go, we're starting to fall forward. That's too far back. Your leg doesn't naturally do that. So it's just a little bit back and bring it back. Anita is going to kick off towards the side a little bit. So, ready, eight times. So, leg back, kick it up for one, and down, two, and down, three, down, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight. Good job. Down and bounce it out. All righty. Other leg. It's the same thing. All right. We're going to kick it back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Down and bounce it out. All righty, everybody. Side leg raises. So, Ania is going to lift her leg up and bend it out to the side, like that. And then she's going to come back in. For those of you standing, you're going to make sure your knee is pointed towards the wall and your toe is. Your knee is not up to the ceiling. That is not natural for your hip. So, and then you're going to raise it up to the side and back to center. All right, we ready? Eight times. And out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Bounce it out, bounce it out. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my chair around so you can see the other side. Same thing. Again, knee is facing that wall, not to the ceiling. So kick it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Down and bounce it out. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and do toe stands. So just going to show from this side. Anita's just going to be seated. She's going to raise up on her toes and back down. On the 10th one, we're going to hold for 10 seconds. So those near a chair and using the chair, you can actually stand and face forward. So you can hold on to the side. Remember, not too far out. You can stay nice and close. You're going to go up on your toes and down. Try not to jerk those hips forward. It's just up and down. Okay, we're ready. Up on our toes. One and down. Up two and down. Up three and down. Up four and down. Up five and down. Up six and down. Up seven and down. Up eight and down. Up nine and down. Last one up and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, down and bounce it out. Good job, everybody. Go ahead, remove those weights and let's go ahead and cool down and stretch it out. All right, good job today, everybody. Remember, stretching and cool down are the most important part of exercise. You need to let your body relax and stretch because you could pull a muscle. So let's go ahead and breathe on in and out and in again and out good drop those shoulders back ear to shoulder and up other side ear to shoulder and up let's go ahead other side again ear to shoulder and up ear to shoulder and up roll those shoulders back all right and stop roll those wrists out close those hands and throw them open close throw them open close and throw them open go ahead and reach up to the ceiling we're going to drop that arm behind your head other arm behind your back. So it looks like this. Keep that head up. If you need to, you can pull it out to the side a little bit. And release. Other arm up to the ceiling. Drop behind your head. Other arm behind your back. Head up if you need to. Pull it out to the side. Good job. And release. Roll those shoulders out again. Go ahead. One arm in front. Take it across. Other arm up above that lower arm. And stretch. And release. Other arm in front. Take it across. Up over that lower arm. 
Relax those shoulders. And release. Go ahead, take your hands here in praying motion and bend side to side. Open it up, take your fingers and pulse. Good job. Go ahead, lock those hands and bring it behind your head. Open it up, open that chest up. Good job, and shake and release it out. Shake those wrists. Good job, and bring your arms to your side. Go ahead, and we're going to lunge forward, and going to reach out, upper body stretch. And bring it back, you're going to Bend that back leg and lift that toe up with that front leg and stretch forward. You don't have to go all the way down to your toe, just as far as you can. You should feel that stretch behind your calf muscle. And back up. Now we're going to switch sides. Lunge it out. You're going to open it up like this. So you're going to open up. Good job. Then you're going to bend the back leg, lift that toe up. Go as far down as you can. Good job. And stand up. A little squat. And up. A little squat. And up. Roll those shoulders back. You can roll that ankles out. Roll those ankles. Other ankle. And go ahead and breathe in. And out. In again, and out, and one more time in, and out, wrap those arms around you, give yourself a nice big old hug for a job well done today, good job with sale today, and we will see you next time, bye!